Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here for another summer decorating video and today we're gonna to be styling the front entryway. This is definitely one of my favorite rooms to decorate seasonally and I am so excited to add some cottage touches. I wanted to give a little overview of our front entryway, especially if you're new to my channel and you've never seen it before, but I love that I can have a bench and a shelf and this gorgeous hall table here. It's so fun to style this space. And typically I always do have lamps on this front entryway table. I love the ambiance that they bring and I think it's so cozy to have them lit in the evenings. It's a little bit of a breezy day. I have the door open and a nice breeze is coming through. So let's get decorating. I did purchase this really pretty scallop tray this year from HomeSense and I have one in my kitchen as well because I love them so much. I think they're very cottagey and beautiful. And to it, I'm gonna add this really distressed vase. This was $29.99. I love the shape as well as the handles. I think this is gonna be so gorgeous with some florals. When I was shopping at Michael's recently, I came across these really pretty blue florals. I thought they were so realistic looking. I ended up picking up four of these. That's all they really had. And I knew that I really wanted to also incorporate these gorgeous white flowers. These were from Michael's also. And everything right now is on a huge sale. So if you're looking for any florals, now's the time to stock up. But I thought this combination of the blue and white and green would look so perfect for summer. I really love creating various heights when I make floral arrangements in my vases. I feel like it adds a lot of visual interest and makes everything look a little bit more authentic and real. I'm really glad I decided to layer in that eucalyptus stem also. I think the green kind of breaks things up and makes it feel a little bit more natural, but the addition of the blue bells are my absolute favorite. I think they're so pretty and just add a very French country feel. You guys will have to let me know in the comments where you like to purchase your florals from. Here in Canada, we are quite limited, but let me know in the comments if you have some good recommendations. To add a touch of elegance to this space, I'm gonna go in with these gold candlesticks and these pretty blue candles. They match the florals perfectly, and I really think they add a touch of elegance to the space and make it feel a little bit romantic also. As you guys can see, my mirror is silver as well as my lamps. And I think the combination of silver and gold, any kind of mixing of metals is so pretty. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to mix your metals when you're decorating also. But I'm gonna add this sweet little bird. I could not resist. I think he's so cute. I did want to conceal those lamp cords, so I'm going to go in with these baskets that I've had for quite a while and just add them to the bottom of this hall table. You can see my little helper, he's watching all the traffic go by. But I love the addition of these baskets. I felt like it needed a little pop of blue under here. So I bought a two pack of these pillows. It was two for $30 and I love the scalloped edges and the white trim. I think these are so perfect. If they had have had more, I probably would have purchased four. I think they're so stunning and I absolutely love that shade of blue. I didn't have a blanket that kind of fit the color scheme I was going for, so I tucked in a tea towel, and I always do that with baskets. You don't have to use a blanket, you can use a tea towel or a doily, and I feel like that really finishes off the space and makes everything blend together so seamlessly. We're gonna move over to this little farmhouse stool. I got this from Michaels, I've had it for a few years, and I thought the perfect little addition to this table would be this watering can. I don't know what the weather's been like where you guys are, but here it's been super odd, very hot and humid and then rain and then sun and it's just been all over the place. It's finally getting a little bit more normal with sun and not such humid temps, but you'll have to let me know in the comment what the weather's been like where you are. Next, we're moving over to my coat rack. I added a really pretty summer scarf. That was my mom's. I love how flowy and dainty it is. And I added a jean jacket. 
This basket I tend to always place in the same spot. It fits so perfectly here. And to it, I'm gonna add some baby's breath florals. These were from Michaels. And I love to combine different florals when I'm decorating. But to keep things cohesive, I do keep with the same color scheme. So I'm using a lot of whites and blues and greens. And that way everything just flows together really well. So moving over to this three tier shelf, I've probably had this for over 10 years, but I love it so much. It's one of my favorite little areas to decorate. I'm gonna add this hat that I thrifted just to bring in a little bit of that cottage feel. And then I created this other floral arrangement that mimics the one on the hall table. I did put it in this really gorgeous white pitcher and I love the French country feel it brings. If you missed last week's video, I went thrifting and I found this cute little basket. I love the shape of the handle, so I wanted to incorporate that into the space. I had some doilies. I love adding doilies to my decor. It feels very cottage-like to me, so I layered this white one and this cream-colored one, and I love how it looks kind of just draped on the basket. I can't believe that we're almost into July. I am so looking forward to this weekend because it's a Canada Day long weekend here. So lots of fun things planned. I wanted to show you guys this gorgeous picture. I got this in Bayfield at one of the little shops there when me and my husband went to the beach a few weeks ago, probably now. And it was $19.99. I thought it was so pretty. And then to this shelf, I also wanted to add this little tray. This is from HomeSense and I love the scalloped edging also. I had to add another little bird. I got these gold ones in the summer. And then to bring in a touch of lavender, I'm going to add this really pretty stem I have. I love this little picture so much. I think it's so pretty. I always struggle finding prints, especially here in Canada. We just don't have as much variety as you guys. So I'm so glad I snagged that one. And here's my little helper. He loves that the door is open, the breeze is coming in. He's such an outdoor dog. He loves to sit on the front porch. So I knew you guys would love this little clip of him. We're gonna move on to the last shelf. When I was out shopping, I found this really pretty box. I love the leather handle there and it was $9.99. I did purchase two and I thought these would be so pretty for fall on my bookshelves. But again, they're so neutral. You can really use them in any space for any season. And to it, I'm adding a little bird cage. And I think this area turned out so adorable. Just a few simple cottage touches. And to me, it's so welcoming and cozy. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's some birds chirping in the background. There's a mama and her babies. They built a nest on my neighbor's house. So it's just been so much fun to see them and listen to them. But I'm going to move on to the powder room door. I have this really pretty wreath. It's in all the colors that I've been using, the blues and the purples, the greens. I love to add wreaths to this door. I feel like it breaks up the starkness of the white on the door and it ties the whole room in together. The last area to decorate is above my bench here. I'm gonna add a wreath. And when I was out thrifting, I found this really delicate, simple print. I love it with the horse and buggies and the church or the house. I think it's so pretty. And the branches, everything about it just spoke to me. And I thought this little area would be the perfect spot to showcase it. I think it's just so stunning and definitely brings a bit of a cottage feel into the space. I'm definitely trying to be more selective when I do go shopping and spending less money is always a win. So thrift shopping for me is just so fun. You never know what treasures you're going to find. I'm going to layer in that other blue pillow on this bench just to tie everything together. And of course, my little helper, he loves this bench. He loves to sit up here sometimes when I'm in the front entryway. But I really wanted to style a tray on this bench also, and I may not always keep it here, but I think it fills in a little bit of space. And I had this gorgeous tray from the thrift store also. It was around $5. And to it, I'm going to add this lantern and this adorable little bunny.
When I was shopping one of my favorite stores, I found this coaster. It says, what a friend we have in Jesus. I love it and it's so true. Jesus is definitely the best friend we could ever have and he loves you and me so much. I thought that was a perfect addition to the space and I absolutely love how the front entryway turned out. I cannot wait to show you guys how the whole house came together including the front porch. It's just so pretty and calming and I've been enjoying it so much. It's probably my favorite summer decor I've ever done. And I think I'm going to be sticking with the blues for summer. I just, something about them is so peaceful to me. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I am so grateful that you come back every week and spend some time with us. It truly sometimes still doesn't feel real that I have this YouTube channel and then all of you as friends. It's my passion and I love being able to share my decorating with all of you and I so enjoy hearing from you every week and reading all your sweet comments. It definitely brings me so much joy and just know that you're all such a big part of my life and I think about you all and just feel so grateful to be able to chat with you every week. So until the next video friends, I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you on the next one. Love you all so much. God bless.